Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So I'm really excited to make this video. I've been waiting a while to show you this. I wanna show you how to build a real world DAP on Ethereum powered by smart contracts. And one of the reasons I'm so excited to share this video with you because this real world DAP is gonna be the capstone project for my blockchain developer bootcamp, which is gonna launch on May 15th, 2019. So before we get into all that, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and click the like button down below. And also you can download my courses for free on my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash free download. That's gonna get you on my email list where you can learn more about my blockchain developer bootcamp when it comes out on May 15th in 2019. So let's talk about this real world DAP that I'm gonna show you today that's gonna to be the capstone project for the blockchain developer bootcamp. Once you get inside of there, you're actually gonna learn how to build this. And I wanna show this off as sort of a preview for the blockchain developer bootcamp about what you're gonna learn um, and show you the value that you're gonna get out of it. So let's talk about this real world use case, right? So a lot of people say, hey, I wanna build a DAP, you know, what can I build? Well, I've kind of made a couple other videos on this channel about, you know, portfolio projects that you can use as a blockchain developer. And I'm gonna show you what I think is the ultimate blockchain portfolio dApp that's a real world use case that you can actually turn into your own project or you can use to show you know, clients or employers who might wanna hire you as a blockchain developer, show them that you've built yourself because it's really impressive and it's also got a real world use case right now. And that's a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange. Now let me explain. The reason I've chosen this as a real world project is because cryptocurrency is a valid use case for blockchain technology right now. There's so many people who are you know, buying and selling cryptocurrency and using it to pay for things and sending it to one another that those are the early adopters in the blockchain ecosystem, right? And they wanna be able to trade tokens and they wanna be able to trade them you know, in a decentralized way. And this gives them an option. You know, there's always room for more exchanges to come on the marketplace to provide, you know, more liquidity and things like that. So that's one of the reasons I've chosen a decentralized exchange is to build something that you can use right now with the blockchain as it is with real world users out there. And you see that other people are launching new decentralized exchanges all the time. And in fact, like big centralized exchanges are even adding decentralized exchange options to their platform. Like Binance is a really good example. You know, relatively recently they launched their Binance DEX as an option for, you know, other people who might want to trade in that way, wallet to wallet or with a smart contract or something like that. Basically they call that a peer to peer exchange, which gives them a way from, you know, know, using other types of exchanges out there. So let's go over the shoulder and I want to show off all the features that you're going to learn how to build in this capstone project of this cryptocurrency exchange for the blockchain developer bootcamp. And I'll also kind of walk you through some of the technical aspects too. So let's jump over to my computer and get started. So here's a preview of the cryptocurrency exchange that I've built that I'm going to show you how to build as the capstone project in the blockchain developer bootcamp. You know, this is a decentralized exchange powered by smart contracts, and you're looking at the uh, user interface right now that's going to talk directly to the smart contract. It's going to allow us to, you know, deposit uh, Ether into the exchange and also uh, any tokens that we're going to trade. It's so like I can, you know, deposit some Ether, I click deposit and, uh, you know, confirm on MetaMask. You can also deposit tokens. Let's put 100 tokens in there. All right. And then I'll click confirm again. All right, that worked. Now I can create a new order. I can say I want to buy, you know, 100 tokens and I want to buy at a certain price. Let's just do that. I may create a buy order. Create that. And you can actually see that popped up here on the orders list in real time, which is pretty awesome. And I, you know, I can fill orders. I can click on any of the orders and click to buy them. All right. Boom, you can see that popped up in the uh, trades list. We can also see the open orders that we have. Uh, you can see a candlestick chart of the high, low, and close prices for any period in the exchange. You can see the last you know, traded price, whether it was you know higher or lower than the uh, last price before that. Um, you know, and you can also see all the completed trades. So yeah, this is an overview of the kind of uh, you know app that we're going to build in the blockchain developer bootcamp for the capstone project. You know, this is a real world use case, a real world project that you know you can build out into your own cryptocurrency exchange if you wanted to for your own real world project. So that's the uh, user interface. Let's actually kind of talk about the code and how this works. So here I am behind the scenes uh, with the code of the app. You know, there's kind of two 
projects here. There's a you know, standard truffle project that you know writes the uh, smart contracts for the exchange. And we're also got this client side application you know, that we saw in this demo that we build uh, for the user interface for the exchange. And you know, to build the smart contracts, you know, we've got a set of smart contracts that power the exchange. Uh, I show you kind of my workflow for writing, you know, real world smart contracts um, with you know my real world conventions that I use and actual client projects and things like that with Solidity. Um, you know, I show you the best practices for building all that kind of stuff so that you can build your own real world projects on Ethereum. And this is going to go way more in depth than any of my other tutorials that I have out there right now on YouTube. Um, you know, this is going to be you know real world stuff, and it's going to we're going to go really in depth and I'm going to kind of walk you through a real boot camp, a real transformation to where you're going to become a blockchain developer by following this course material. And so, you know, the client side is uh, built out in uh, React JS. So, you know, I've got a couple of other videos on my channel um, where I kind of show you how to build dApps with React JS. Um, you know, I don't, you don't have to know React in order to get into the boot camp and build this project. I'm going to kind of show you everything you need to know um, as we go along. And, you know, I've chosen React because it's a really popular JavaScript framework. Um, you know, we're not going to get into super advanced React. We'll stick to, you know, um, pretty much the basics, but it's going to give you a lot of flexibility, and a lot of power. You know, we need um, a front-end framework to handle all of the rich clients and interactions for the exchange and the real-time updates and things like that, to manage all the components, to manage all the UI elements, all the confirmations, everything with MetaMask, all that stuff. And React is going to give us, you know, a really nice set of tools that will allow us to manage that way we, we need this you know because we can't just build all that ourselves with you know plain vanilla javascript without having to write you know just so much code it would take all day so anyways um yeah, we're using React for this. Um, I'm going to show you some of the best practices for React in building dApps using Web3.js. We're going to use Redux to store all the state uh, of our app. And yeah, I'm going to show you just real world conventions that I use on professional projects. Um, and you'll kind of go over the shoulder and get my workflow that I use for building my own dApps. And here, this component I'm actually looking at is the, uh, you know, the price chart that you saw here. I'll show you how to build out this candlestick chart for cryptocurrency exchange. Um, you know, there's all kinds of stuff stuff inside here you know we were going to build out all these components like showing your balances depositing making orders filling orders listing the orders uh showing the transactions the trades all that kind of stuff so anyways guys there's a lot here um you know this is going to be all part of my blockchain developer boot camp this is the capstone project we're going to cover a lot in the boot camp but this is the project you'll eventually build at you know towards the end um and this is going to be something you guys can use for your portfolio and you can show people that you have the understanding of this and you can even use it as your own project if you want to to. So I hope you all like this video. Um, again, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click the like button down below. And also, like I said, you can download my courses for free on my website at dappuniversity.com. It's going to get you on my email list so that you can know about the boot camp and take advantage of this special launch event, which is going to start on May 15th in 2019. And you're going to want to learn more about that because I'm going to show you how to build this cryptocurrency exchange, this real world project um, for your portfolio. So again, hope you all like this video and until next time, thanks for watching DAP University.